Hot pot meal, a meal of celebration, a gathering to eat one's fill. A hot pot brings people together by letting everyone participate in cooking and eating simultaneously from a bubbling pot of broth at the table. Ah, such delight! To know more about this cozy meal party, let's get started. The origin of hot pot can be tracked back 1,000 years ago when Mongolian horse riders traveled in China. Yes, they believed that hot pot is not just for having a meal, but it equates to good times. They enjoyed hours of drinking, eating, and conversing during winter nights. This means Mongolians introduced China to hot pot. And as the cultural influence had spread, it gradually took on northern China, Japan, Korea, and Vietnam. Still, we can say that the art of hot pot culinary begins from the land of China, where they had a simple broth served with horse meat and mutton. There are three popular types of hot pots, starting with the Chongqing hot pot, aka spicy hot pot, which is usually eaten in restaurants. At first glance, this fiery red broth will make you want to run away if you're not into spice. But if you crave spicing up your dinner, getting this peppery broth will be wholesome. Next comes the Sichuan hot pot. A large, spicy pot of boiling broth and a bunch of fun food to dip and cook. Another popular one is the Beijing Mutton Hot Pot, which is perfect for instantly having mutton with fresh veggies. Some other popular hot pots include seafood, sauerkraut, and beef. You can't just walk into a fancy restaurant during winter every other day. Why not? It's because your frozen fingers can't feel the warmth of steaming soup even when you're surrounded by hungry diners ready to jump with their chopsticks. But do you really want to miss all these? No? So try hot pot at your dinner table, huddled around a pot filled with bubbling savory broth. Before that, you need to shop for some basic ingredients. So head to your nearest grocery store once your pots and tools are sorted out. In this case, Asian stores are more reliable as they have pretty much everything for hot pot. First comes the proteins. Store your shopping cart with thin slices of pork, lamb, beef, chicken, fish filler, and octopus or squid. Don't forget about tofu and fish balls. And when it comes to veggies, the options are never-ending. Yes, pile up enoki mushrooms, napa cabbage, corn, gold potatoes, kabocha squash, daikon, spinach, or any leafy greens. Let's move on to the carbs now. Get some ramen noodles or fresh udon, vermicelli, and egg dumplings. What about seasonings? Decide first what type of condiments you want, Asian or Western. No matter what your taste buds desire, barbecue sauce, chili oil, chili crisp, soy sauce, Hoisin sauce, oyster sauce, and sesame oil are widely popular to make your hot pot flavorful. Tasty food, laughter, and hours of chit-chat? What else could you ever want from this holiday season? All you need is a big spicy hot pot of broth, piles of fun things to cook, and a large collection to make your spicy dipping sauce. Ah, it's as delicious as it sounds. Actually, a hot pot experience is what you make of it, whether regular or spicy. However, if you want to have two soup based together, get fancy yin-yang pots for cooking both spicy and non-spicy broth in the same pot. So, what are you waiting for? To get something timelessly traditional, check out this Aroma Stainless Steel Hot Pot. With dual compartments, this pot bowl will allow you to steam two different types of soup simultaneously. So, saute shiitake mushrooms in the middle pot and pour the beef broth into the large one. On top of that, this removable pot is easy to clean and store. On the other hand, if you want an electric hot pot, have a look at the Zojiroshi Gourmet DXpert Electric Hot Pot. 
including a deep inner pan, this will be multifunctional for you, as it lets you adjust the temperature, your broth will remain warm throughout the dinner party. On the plus side, you can easily detach its magnetic cord and move it without worrying. That being said, we're now at the end of the video. Hope you loved it and subscribe if you did. In the comment section, let us know if you find this video helpful. Stay tuned if you want more videos like this.